clearly like people are just going over the cliff and not getting the help and information that they should be getting. Nationally, the student loan debt is $1.5 trillion in counting. In New Jersey, that number sits at $43 billion. Chuck Bell with Consumer Reports says one in four borrowers in the country is in default. That means their loans have become delinquent. They've been referred in many cases to collections where it can severely damage people's credit, make it hard for them to get a mortgage or get a, even get a job. Bell testified to the Assembly Higher Education Committee that the problem is largely due to lack of information or misinformation given to borrowers by student loan companies. There's a government report that found that 70 percent of the borrowers who went into default uh, actually could have qualified for an income driven repayment plan that would have lowered their monthly payments. Today, the committee discussed a bill which was first introduced in 2015 and pocket vetoed by former Governor Chris Christie that would give the state tools to go after bad actors. It creates a new student loan ombudsman, essentially a student loan advocate in the Department of Banking and Insurance, who's the central point of contact in the state if you have a problem with a student loan to go to to try to get help. But then it also gives the state new powers and new authorities to hold these student loan companies accountable. So it can go in there, check their books, make sure they're following the law, and if they're not, hold them accountable. Seth Frotman is the former student loan ombudsman at the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. He says companies are cutting corners by rushing people off the phone or not training employees properly to save money. We saw in my time there 60,000 complaints around student loan companies and student loan servicers including thousands right here in New Jersey. Borrowers getting ripped off. They're not getting the information they need. The Trump administration in March released its proposal to reform the Higher Education Act to address rising debt. But advocates here say the state has to take this matter into their own hands because the federal government is not doing enough. Six other states have passed similar student loan laws. Now this bill was released from committee today. It's already passed the Senate and now it will make its way to the assembly floor. In Trenton, Leah Mishkin, NJTV News.